guest has been on Robot Chicken and Deadwood, yeah. and my name is Earl. And she also, I'm going to ask her what she likes to call it. It feels like a movement to me, but I know they call it a panel um, called All Shapes and Sizes. And they have an event coming up in a couple weeks, which sounds really exciting. So I can't wait to talk to her all about that. Please welcome Leah Savoli. Hello. Yes. Hi, gorgeous. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. So happy to have yes. you here. Nice Leah, and I, you, Leah and I go back, you know, we're pals, we're palsies. We're back a couple Maybe a couple now. years, yeah, yeah. We did we have a picture of? Go yeah, we did meet at Go Kirby, but we met. We did a little. Oh, oh my god, um, I love that photo. <laughs> we're so I cute in that picture. Hello, we lashes. did a fashion show. Oh my god, my lashes were. Oh my lord, they my were lord. your cute little hair. Yeah, yeah and I, I did it. this like really awesome little stumble <laughs> as I came up the steps, and he was like, "No, it looks fine. You caught yourself. It was cute. Yeah, it was super pet. cute." Yeah. No, listen, when you I wear was high heels that aren't your No, but that walk. also what happens when it is not really a runway, it's right. scaffolding. Yes. No, it was like America's Ninja Warrior. It okay, was. let's get real. <laughs> no, it was not it was. a catwalk. Was. I was like was. amazed at y'all. I was yeah, there. Yeah, she was. It literally totally was. It was like up the stairs, across, down the stairs, across, up the stairs, and then I pose, it pose, all again. pose. Yeah, come back but like down. I mean, it was scaffolding, just, but scaffold yeah. Whoa, like, like it was like, shaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not stairs that are in the floor bolted. While they were yeah. saying, and be careful of that cord and that <laughs> cord. Yeah. That was one of the things. Oh, no. And how about how about when I was supposed to go on, the music just died. Mm -hmm. no, and they're, they're, like, right. they're, like, they're like, go. They're like, go. So oh, over. they're like, go. I'm like, no. They're like, go. I'm like, no. <laughs> we're such I'm like, a professional. I'm not, I, I am a brat. I am not yeah. going until there is music. I didn't even know her. It was something like really I know. Jazzy. It was really Yeah, and then it was perfect. But I was so proud of her. And I just met Eva just literally a couple weeks before. And I was never prouder of you in my whole life. Yep. Maybe you're proud of my proudest moment. <laughs> I was like, that's right, bitch. Wait for your entrance music. I was like, I am not going out there. I'm totally, <laughs> the, guy, the guy is like literally like so mad at me. Go. And I'm like, no. <laughs> you guys totally survived it. that like flying collar. You were gorgeous. But the clothes were amazing. Um, Mama J Bez, yeah. Jessica Bazan, and Anita, and just like really happy to Love support the colors. Her. Oh my yeah, god, the colors were, really great. were amazing. It was, a nice it was a nice palette. It was good. So let's talk about Yell. Let's talk about all shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. Can you just break it down for me? Because I went and looked about it, and I know that you do a lot of panels, Comic Con and mm -hmm. other cons. But like, so how did that? You're like a mastermind of it, right? You're like, yeah, yeah, I'm the founder. Yeah. Um, so long story short, this was about. I guess it's been about three and a half years now, and I had, I had gone through a pretty rough 2010, 2011, um, and part of my journey is that I've been suffering from emotional binge eating, and I had put on about 75 pounds in the course of, say, like, five months. Mm. Um, you know, and I know how and why I did it. You know, when you eat three, four, five thousand calories, you tend to <laughs> put on weight. Um, but you, you know, that's a whole other topic. So, I um, I had been going through that battle, and I had started writing a blog for Ms. in the Biz um, about my self love journey. And I had met Eva and on that Go Curvy show with Sherry Lee Meredith, and I've just been going through this whole like self love journey. And I had decided for the first time in my life that I was going to take the time to really love me at the current size 16 that I was rather than to do some kind of crash diet, crash cleanse, crash detox that I had in the past because that doesn't solve the problem. So I was going through this self-love journey and I was feeling really good about myself and I was in Las Vegas with a girlfriend. Um, for a Guns N' Roses concert, as I'm known to do. I <laughs> travel the world for rock and roll. Yes. And I posted a selfie. And it was the first time, I think, in a long time that it was more than just like a head and shoulder shot. I had jeans and a t-shirt on. And I posted like from, it was like maybe the knees up. Like I was just feeling really good about myself and posted this photo on Facebook. And this random guy um, who I hadn't seen in probably like 10 years. I had done some extra work with him on a television show a long, long time ago. He's the first to comment, and he writes, Leah, I've seen you look better. <gasps> oh. I mean, the nerve. Are you the kidding me? freaking yeah. nerve. Wow. Yeah, and so wow. um, my friends and family went 
berserk. As they should. <laughs> As they should. What in the serious fuck? And why is it always someone that don't even know you like that? Yep. It's somebody who, like, maybe you met three times yep. or, like, maybe even talked to just on Facebook yep. that feels like they can pipe up and, like, give the, their two right. cents. Exactly. Right, exactly. Who are you? Yep. And so oh, rather than, Kathy went down you know, down rather than go where <laughs> everyone else was going with this man, I, you know, I simply said, you know, wow, you know what? Um, I feel great. And the last time you saw me, I had been doing the master cleanse and hadn't eaten solid food in 40 days. I mean, come on. So I think I'm a lot healthier than I was the last time you saw me. And then, I, you know, I promptly deleted him. But Good. I got, I got so worked up that by the end of the day, I had reached out to different gals in the industry, models, writers, editors, fashion designers, and the panel was formed by the end of the day. I just said, Work. you know what? I'm putting this together. All yes. shapes and sizes welcome. And the first thing that we submitted for was Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con, which is huge. It's yeah, like no. the yeah. granddaddy That's of the unbelievable. cons. Yeah. And we got accepted and... The response was amazing. We we were interviewed for Fox News like that six, picture of you six guys. Six a.m. We had to be on it? the rooftop. I know. Oh yeah, there we are. Look all. at them. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, and it all is all you. shapes and there really sizes is. Welcome. There are a lot of a lot of shapes and sizes in that picture, age ranging from like Gorgeous. forty to twenty. Um, in that photo, you know, there's there's actresses, there's models, and. You know, it, it's not not everyone on the panel has an eating disorder. Not everyone on the panel is plus size. That's what it's it's, it's supposed to be inclusive. Yeah. You know, and talking about um, basically how we are the change. That's you so know? great. Now you have an event coming up on September twelfth. Yes, actually, this is really funny. Um, that was last September twelfth. <laughs> <laughs> What happens when you don't update oh, your events shoot, page? I'm I so saw that. Sorry. And I was like, oh wow, that's so funny because. But I can tell you, it went really well. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thank you. It was Good. Um, bravo, bravo. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a blogger <laughs> convention, um, and the woman that puts it together, Erica, I had worked with um, previously on Sean Astin's the crowdfunding campaign and his radio show, and she reached out to me, and it was bloggers from all over the country came, and it was a different um, audience than what we're used to because. The topic was like how to get over yourself, like how to be on camera because what they were trying to teach the bloggers is that these days you also need to vlog and you need to periscope and yeah. you need to you need Facebook to be seen. live, you need to you be need seen. To have video. Listen, and that's, that's what it was about. This has really been a challenge because I have just started this idea of radical self-love yeah. of my body and what I look like. It is I am very early on in this process, and some days I'm great, and some days I am not. And I feel like I like to talk about when I don't feel great because if I bring it to the light, it has a chance to heal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's, I'm, I'm, so I feel you on that. Well, and, and I think that's why I started great. like blogging about it. You know, I write for Ms. in the Biz, and so sometimes I write about the business side of things, but sometimes I write about you know my journey and, and my self love. Um, I went to Hawaii last year for the first time. I took myself on an adult Beautiful. vacation by myself. Yes. And I was 48 hours out about to leave pack. And I looked at my clothes and I realized, like, these don't look tropical. These don't look like <laughs> Hawaii clothes. Like, I'm going to an island. And actually, I reached out in distress to our friend Sherry Lee Meredith. And that woman had a bag of clothes on her doorstep for me to pick up. And these are clothes I would have never bought for myself. But when I got to that island, I just felt so gorgeous and I posted a photo of myself on Facebook in a bathing suit because I had spent all day I even went to the gas station in Hawaii in my bathing suit and I was thinking wow in LA I would never be standing like yeah. at the gas station in just a bathing suit and flip-flops nice. but I felt so so gorgeous and it's you know it's it's a process yeah. you know i i have That's days so great. too i'm but working up to the bathing suit picture yeah working up to it i have a couple bathing suit pictures i know I'm you do saying, my that's the thing that I, my biggest I'll post thing that one I'm, now i'm gonna post one how dare you <laughs> Hey, no. You can't post no. Eva's. You have no, to post she will. your <laughs> No, oh, no. This, this girl likes to post pictures of me that I look terrible in. <gasps> Just saying. She, that's her favorite thing. <laughs> that's where so I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm her. That's and, so not true. And Kathy's like, um, uh, and I look crazy that's in this. So She's like, I true. love this picture post. <laughs> I'm like, that this bitch. That's this not, not, that oh maybe goodness. happened once. Well, she hasn't hey, forgotten. Obviously, no, once so. is too many. <laughs> well, we also want to talk about um, your dating adventure that you are willing to, I mean, you just put yourself in as an application, but even I that, I feel like, 
I we did. Should so you know, so I don't know if this. Well, maybe, let's just say it's happening. Okay. Um, but I I don't know for sure. But yes, um, this is what happens when your Facebook friends with one of the hosts <laughs> of the radio show they know <laughs> everything that's going we on know, in your we life. We know everything that's we going know on in your life. And well, and you know, you did post it, so it I is quite did, public. But if you weren't my Facebook friend, you wouldn't have seen that. <laughs> true. True. And we wouldn't true. be talking about it right now. But uh, so it's no secret if you follow me any on any platform, I have been single for like a decade. I'm not I'm not even kidding. Like the last time I had a boyfriend that I spent a vacation with and a holiday with and a birthday with, I swear to you guys, was 1996. 1996. By the way, <laughs> and you were 12. I'm plus. <clears throat> I'm not, I was in college. I, <laughs> I was in college. Yeah. Listen, I am so with you. Yeah. I'm so with you it, on this. I, I don't I don't get it because I grew up as a young girl. I loved romance. I loved love. You know, my little sisters used to joke about me that I found a new soulmate every week at the at the mall, <laughs> you know, and I did. But like where where's where's but the equivalent the to the mall? But that's these the days. thing. I got to tell I you that, that is the thing. Like the rom-coms and everything they have programmed us yeah. to believe that men are chivalrous or men are going to court us or men are going to treat us a certain way and then in real life they just don't yeah i mean i kind of lucked out because my husband is like some weird freak of nature who is from chicago who is like so like loves me so much like really really loves me so much and i, I mean i know that from my from my dating part point of view this is going back you know, a while, but I had to make a list of this like perfect person that mm -hmm. I wanted to yeah. to date. Um, and I, I feel like I manifested him. See, my list used to have like 87 things on it. And <laughs> Mine had now, 150. Now Mine had it's 150. got like four, you know. You're like, now is he like, alive? Heartbeat. Oh, Can he still get a boner? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay we're going to come back to this when yes, we come back. Coming. we got to go to commercial, but we'll be right back with Plus This with more of Alia Savole <laughs> and my non-existent dating life. <laughs> Hi, we're back with Plus This, and Leah Savoli's here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give her a dance. Oh, do that. What is Give that? What is this dance, dance called? Uh, I don't know. I did it in the clubs. <laughs> Wait, you, you did I that? Did it in the clubs. I did it in the clubs. In the clubs. In the clubs. <laughs> um, so, I we feel so special. I've never had anyone, like, sing and dance my name know, before. <laughs> I can do it for you on your phone if you Would want. You please? Yeah. <laughs> it can be your ringtone. It can be my ringtone. There totally. you go. See? I'll, I'll totally do that for you. <laughs> um, so, we want to talk about this conscious dating is yeah. what it's called. And it's Bess Betsy Chazzy yeah. is the pr executive producer. So, there is a reality show, guys, yes. that is about conscious dating. Now, I explain what when you read it what you felt it was. Okay. So, I had seen it on another friend's Facebook page who I know has done some work with Betsy recently she's the executive producer of what the bleep do we know so she's got you know Great quite man. a track record of good conscious kind of materials that yeah. she's that she's putting out um, and so I saw that it was listed as um, a dating show for singles over 40 years old in Los Angeles. I mean, are you over 40? I mean, I don't, I mean, barely, barely, barely eking it out. Tiptoed over. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm 42 now. There I just turned go. 42 in May. So I, I fit the cutoff. Um, so I clicked on the link. I was like, all right, whatever. Let me see it. And then I read the requirements of like, are you over 40? Yes. Do you live in Los Angeles? Yes. Are you willing to work with a relationship coach to get over your blocks and obstacles <laughs> and fears in dating? Yes. Are you not in any sort of committed relationship that would provide, you know, prevent you from doing this? No, I'm not. <laughs> Are you available between September and November to meet with coaches not every day, but most days? Yes. Are you ready to find love? Yes. And I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> so I filled it out. It was, I'd say, about 30 or so questions. Um, yeah, that it was a lot depth. of questions. Well, they got to do that. They got to do it. They asked, you know, protection. what your last relationship was like. The one thing that I had an epiphany on, and not necessarily an epiphany because I've had this epiphany before, but the one question I found was really interesting was looking back at your dating history, is there anything you would have done differently and what was it? And for that, I put that looking back, I, I pigeonholed myself in, I was all about the bad boys. Rock and roll, long hair, tattoos, motorcycles, mm. crime records, you name it, I dated them. But looking back, there were like a spattering of like good guys who were interested and were trying to show their interest and like 
I didn't really pay much attention. Yeah. I didn't give them a chance. That happens. So that was that was my answer is like, you know, looking back, I would have given more people a chance to get to know them, even though they didn't necessarily fit the mold of the type that I thought right. I was attracted to. Right. And isn't it great, like, sometimes even going through the process of that, yeah. you have an aha moment, mm-hmm. right? I yeah. mean, just, like, being saying, I'm willing, even if it doesn't happen to you, yep. just, like, the willingness to know you're uh, you're okay looking at something a different way. And yeah. there was, there's this um, questionnaire. Yeah, which I didn't they had. see. Oh, they don't have a questionnaire. <laughs> I mean, not no, questionnaire. It's about, it's a, okay, so I'm going to, because this is my little baby that Kathy hates. Not um, hates. Not severely, hate. severely have dislikes. Have an opinion. Have an opinion. Severely, a strong severely, opinion about. Yeah. Okay. So it's a red flags checklist, and there's there's certain things on the checklist that um, really stuck out to me. <clears throat> so mm-hmm. some of the danger signs are reacts to frustration with anger, rage, blame, tries to control everything, including me, emotionally distant, avoid, aloof. Um, Some of the common red flags are doesn't keep agreements, um, inability to listen, uh, what he or she says about himself doesn't match reality. So those kinds of things, I thought, this is like a really great, helpful list because if you're, Mm. because for me personally, when I was in, when I was dating, I would date guys who were really good looking and then like all of their bad behavior went out the door. Like, it just didn't matter. Like, I was just like, you're good looking, and so uh, it doesn't matter if you say that you're gonna call me in, in tomorrow and then you call me three days from now. Like, if you say, now, if I were dating, if I were single, if you tell me you're gonna do something, you better do it, because right. that is so important yeah. to me that you keep your word. Yeah. And so if somebody continually doesn't do that, that is a red, to me, that's a red flag. Like, right. bye. I will just say, and this is the thing that I have issue with in these blanket tests. Okay. It feels like a test to me. And I, I absolutely think that if you are in a relationship and you're like, I'm not happy, I'm not happy, I'm not happy, and then you take this, and you're like, fuck, I shouldn't be in this relationship, that's one thing, I think. This is saying, uh, this says something about prospective partners, a potential partner. So this is even like before you're jumping in. And like I said to Eva, there are things on this list that I know that I do like as a person. Okay, but there are 30 things listed. Yes. So if I met you and you're my potential date and there's like one, two, three things that I see Kathy does, okay. But what if there's 10, 15, yeah. 20? I don't, I don't disagree with that. I will say that... St- I think that girls, especially when you get past 40, quite honestly, if you're still single and have Mm -hmm, never been with mm -hmm. anybody, that we definitely do put up with garbage sometimes. But also, I think that if you expect, like, horrible things about people, you're and don't reflect on yourself Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. like why you do find people over and over who aren't financially secure, let's Mm -hmm, just say. mm -hmm. Like there's something, like I like to do the work on myself. Yes. And this feels like, oh, you're not, this feels very like they're not good enough for me. And I'm kind of like, well, what about me goes for a person who is not emotionally available for a a long-term relationship? Okay, yes and it's not just about the other person. The first two sections are about you. So section two is red flags for you. Because I read a little bit more on the website because they're trying to break down any barriers or problems that you personally have had in a relationship. So in the first part, projecting the future, I read something on there that if you meet somebody and on date one or two, you're already asking yourself, would I want this person to raise my child? Would I want to spend the rest of this life with this person? Then they're saying you are projecting into the future and that's too soon for you to be doing that. Uh-huh. So that's a red flag that you should Thank look at you yourself. for clearing that And up. section two, are you talking yourself into this relationship? Like, so I love the way they look or their status builds my self-esteem. So if that's something you're thinking, that's a red flag for you. So I think they're trying to be fairly even. Good, because I do. Yeah. I'm, of course, I'm also in resistance about this, so that's okay. I know, I admit, I know, and I admit I, that. I get it. And listen, I've been like praying about it, laying candles and laying doing are you crystals. Single, you're single as well? Oh, See, and that's the thing. <laughs> so, because so, you can go back and forth between uh, trying to find the perfect person, right? And we all know this person doesn't exist. But when you get to my age and you realize, like, okay, there are some things maybe that you can compromise on. You know, I know that, be- I just remember this one time. I was dating, I'd met these two guys. We're talking about 10, 12 years ago. I'd met these two guys right around the same time. And I had gone on a date with both of them. 
and maybe two dates with both of them. But then it was at that point of like, okay, I'm going to spend more time with one of them. You know, who was it going to be? And I am not even kidding. One of the things that bothered me about the guy that I decided not to spend more time with was his shoes. I did Girl, not I like the kind of sneaker. Of that. I broke up with a guy on date two. I was like, you're wearing all white sneakers. You're out. You are out. All white sneakers. You're out. Bye. See, and maybe that's the kind of thing we can work on, right? Like, Hilarious. maybe it's okay that he has all white sneakers. I mean, I was 22. I mean, now I would kind of be like. Ooh, that's amazing. You're wearing well, I can't wait to hear where that goes. Well, it'll be interesting. You. you know, I, I put the application in yesterday. And that's what, when you posted it, I was like, I'm going to comment oh, because I she, she yep. put the director and I'm going to comment Perfect. so that the, the director will sees you, it again. Will you keep, keep in I touch will. with us about yeah, that? Keep We're going to keep on posted. you. For sure. I mean, I would assume that it's going to... Um, I would assume that they're going to make their choices shortly because yeah. it looked like it, the process it was, was starting in about a yeah. month or so. Yeah, so. that's great. But, but you know, I want to say. But that Eva like, was really funny because she's the first person to comment and she's like, this would be a fabulous ending to your story. <laughs> and I knew she was commenting because she knew other people were looking <laughs> at it. And, but I was like, I yeah, was like, that would be pretty I darn funny. I was like, funny. what if it's captured? All your whole love story is captured. <laughs> I have to tell you, I, I mean, I already know if I get chosen for this, there's going to be a lot of tears. There is going to be a Lee, You are going to see Leah crying in like every damn episode. I can. But I get, can it get, you. Get, get it out. Get it out. Get it out. All right. I do want to talk about one other thing. We probably have just time for one, but this is I think it was it's a big enough deal that I think we should talk about. Um, Tess Holiday, plus size model. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Just had a baby. Yep. And she had was on a shopping app. Yeah, like Depop or something. Yeah. App. And she, uh, someone started harassing her and saying terrible things. No, like really mean things to her. Which terrible. Is Wait, just ridiculous. I, I have mm -hmm. them here. No, I, I think we have, we have a, a slide of it if they can. There, but there yeah, we go. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Um, so they said stuff like, you're the reason why there had been an increase in anorexia because people see you and don't want their future to be you. By the way, I hate that you spelled there wrong, by the way. By the way, you're what a waste of a soul. Yeah, it's Ugh. weird to think how early you're going to die because your body will eventually give in to heart disease, diabetes, cancer. By the way, you're... By the way, we were you airlifted to the UK on a private seating or on private seating because no way you would fit in an airplane or even be carried by one? Um, Ness double X, go fuck yourself. Exactly, and she um, and she was sort I'm, of. I'm gonna I'm gonna be the one that's gonna say that because Tess Holiday was like trying to be jokingly and sweet yeah. and like, hey, so tell me tell more. me more. Uh -huh. Oh, tell me more about how much you hate me and yeah. really how much you hate yourself, yeah. sis. And then Facebook turned around yep. when she posted the screenshot of that from the app. She posted from the, the app, yep. and they blocked her account. Can we show that? Yeah. Took her account down for took her three personal days. For account three days down. because other people were writing stuff about her, and she was like, "Everyone should know about it." And this is not the first time she's had people. Yeah. So I just wonder. And I'm just playing devil's advocate here. I just wonder if Facebook saw the posts and were like, "These are mean." Block didn't really do their homework in looking at but it. But that means that somebody had to report it. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, someone had to report her. She didn't report herself. For right. Sure. Somebody had to report it for them to look at it. And then, according to, you know, her blog, she didn't even get a response until she started tweeting about it. Exactly. Like, she kind of played it cool. Which is kind of hilarious. And she's like, been... Like, I'm going to tweet about this Facebook issue, and now it's going to be exactly. all of a sudden and it gets And by the way, resolved. her bathing suit photos have mm -hmm. been blocked. Like, because of indecent exposure, health Yeah, no, it things. violated the, the Facebook's health code. Yeah, because there's a health code. And I'm like... Uh, I'm sorry. So there's her picture. I mean, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. She is fully pregnant in this picture. And Facebook it, was like, nope. It violates their their health rules standards or whatever. Or health something. standards. Yeah, it was like, honestly, please go. Really? I I, I mean, I, I really don't oh. understand it because some of the things that I've seen on Facebook, I mean, like not to jump into all kinds of topics, but posts on gun violence, posts oh. on animal cruelty, uh, naked women with nothing but strings on their body. Like, so many things that you see on Facebook. And then yeah. a woman in her, a, a pregnant woman in her bathing suit yeah. gets There's taken down. There's somebody up in there that is, like, really fatphobic. There's got to be. Because this is not, this is going on for a long time now. 
Right, this has been right. For, and it's not. It's yeah, not just it's tests. Been for I feel it's come like a challenge coming on. I feel I'm feeling a challenge. Yeah, I might need to do a bikini. I gotta go get a bikini. I gotta do it. And I gotta do it. it. I'm just gonna see be like, happens. here's my chub. And you better like it. it. <laughs> you better like my chub Facebook. <laughs> and let's see it. May, I'll put on a little you swim know, dress. That's, that's actually <laughs> a pretty, cute coverall. That's a pretty cool <laughs> idea. I mean, we'd have to get a hashtag together. Wow. Yeah. Hashtag yeah. I'm I'm with Tess. I'm with Tess. Yeah. For serious, I'm willing to start that. I think. But that's you won't right. do a bikini bathing Not suit. Not a bikini, pic. no. Or how about plus this Facebook? Oh yeah. Oh. Plus this Facebook winning. Winning. Hashtag, hashtag winning. <laughs> okay. Now wait, we have this, to. Okay. This would wait. Is this hashtag, 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 hashtag winning. This is yeah. brand new to me. Perfect. What? You don't watch Saturday Night Live and Justin <laughs> Timberlake? They were like, Oh my god. Oh, I'm amazing. gonna have to send that to you. Exactly. So you can get in on the joke. Listen, Leah. It has been such a pleasure. Yeah. Can you please tell people where they? can find you oh i am all over the internet um twitter is my favorite at l-e-a-h underscore c-e-v-o-l-i leah savoli it's the same on instagram it's the same on facebook it's the, pretty much the same on youtube yeah follow her you can her. find yeah. me everywhere Love she's her. fabulous she's fab we also have tweeted a bunch with her so you can find it on ours too at plus the show yeah Thank we're you. like totally twitter bffs now your so, totes you know. gonna give us the update oh my I god i will how That's about you sauce. guys get the exclusive update yeah exclusive i would plus like an exclusive exclusive Excuse. Excuse. <laughs> <laughs> <Will you? laughs> For Whittian. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, All right. thank you so much for being yes. with us. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for having me. This is exciting. You. you guys are so much fun. Oh, my God. Oh, you're yeah. All right. We'll be, we love. We love. All right. Love Fest. We'll have it at the break. So you go. We'll come back. Plus, this bitches when we return. <laughs> <laughs>